Hello, this is a great hip opener on purpose. It's designed to be a hip opener. It's pretty much all it does. Um, I really like hip openers simply because I used to have really tight hips. You used to run a lot, you cycle a lot, just in the sagittal plane, forwards and backwards. Hips got really tight. Um, didn't really notice it until I started doing yoga in terms of when I sat down. For example, you come into a nice, easy, this is called easy posture, Sukhasana, which is a bit um, of a misnomer, really, certainly for people that live in the West. And so what we're looking for here is a loose cross leg position. And um, if our knees are up here, which mine were, um, we pretty much tight hips. OK, not that there's any rule of thumb, but really what you want to do is get them below that 45 degree angle comfortably sitting on your sit bones with an upright position that just gives you an idea of where you might be at the moment and then uncross legs crossing the other way if you find this it's uncomfortable sitting cross leg then generally maybe look at the hips okay so on to the practice so we're going to start on our front okay and again with all of these practices just go with what you've got in your body don't feel like you need to push it it's not a competition but we're going to start a child pose which in itself is a hip opener so take the knees out to the edge of the mat sit back towards your heels as you lengthen through the spine here taking some nice big belly breaths feeling that breath push the tummy down to the floor and as you release the breath release the body let the body sink to the floor just get the body start to stretch start to open up a bit with the breath bringing your mind into the practice And throughout this practice, just um, stay focused, stay focused on your postures, the movement, the breath. And thinking about um, symmetry or asymmetry, if you like, uh, just checking in one side to the other side as we move through the go through the movements and seeing where the constraints are in your body. That gives you a clue um, in terms of where you need to maybe focus your other practice or future practice. OK, come up then. So come to tabletop, a couple of cat cows here just to get the spine loose. So breath in, tummy down, head lifts, tailbone goes back, breath out, round your back, pull your belly button in, drop your head. That nice, gentle, gliding, sliding movement of discs and vertebrae in the spine. And we'll start straight away on our hips. Okay, from a tabletop position, we're going to take the left knee out to the side, keeping the knee flexed, keeping the ankle flexed. We call this fire hydrant pose or doggy pose. And then we're going to draw some circles with our hip our knee, feeling that hip going around in circles one way and then go the other way, noticing any tightness, any clicking, any contraction, staying away from pain and discomfort, just working with that range of movement. And then come back and into the other leg, then lift the knee away, flex the knee, flex the ankle, draw some circles here. Noticing the quality of those circles, the control you've got in your rotator muscles. Six rotator muscles in that hip. Really powerful muscles, making sure that you get that nice circular movement. So you're developing those muscles equally. OK. Taking your knees to the edges of the mat again, walk the hands, uh, walk the, uh, take the hips backwards. Come down on your forearms. And lower down, lower down, really going to some compression now in the hips. And then come up. OK, we're coming to a downward dog. So tuck the toes in, send the hips back, lift the bum up, pedal through the first downward dog, just to stretch out through any tightness in the lower legs. Looking back at your ankles. Developing the posture, not going too hard at it at first, but enough so that you can feel that tension in your body, nice and long through your upper back. We'll take a little vinyasa here just to get the body switched on. So an inhale through to plank, shoulders on wrists, exhale, knees, chest, chin to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale to the floor. Inhale up onto your knees. Take your knees out nice and wide again. Join the big toes together. Walk the hands backwards. OK, depending on how you are in your body, maybe walk the hands even further backwards. Come into maybe a little bit of a, a reclined hero with legs quite wide here. Lifting the tailbone up, lifting the pelvis up. Just get a little bit of a stretch through your hip flexors, through your quads. And of course, if this is too much for you, simply go in as deep as you need to for your body. And then come up. OK, let's get to it. So coming to tabletop position, 
I'm going to step. I'm going to step my right foot forward, and then tuck my left toes in. Lift my left knee off of the mat. Rotate my left heel down, pushing heavily into that front foot. We're going to windmill the left arm all the way up around. Find our first warrior two. Okay, find warrior two. Look over the middle finger of your front hand. Just check where your rear arm is. Bending through that front knee. Knee points over toes. Push into the back edge of that trailing foot. Already the hips are going into rotation now. Okay, looking straight ahead, feeling the effects of this posture, feeling comfortable in this posture, nice and slow with a breath. Okay, then reclined warrior, turn the front arm up with a breath in, lean back as you reach up, go for height here and breath out side angle. You can rest your forearm on your thigh, but if you take the hand down on the inside, bringing the other arm over the top, reaching as far across as you can, looking up at that raised arm and breathing steadily here. Pull your tummy button in, push into the mat heavily with that front foot as you slowly come all the way back up. Arms are now horizontal, pivot on your heels, turn your feet out 45 degrees, inhale the hands up nice and high, palms come together, Exhale, glide in squat, hands down to your chest, hips into compression, breath in, lift the arms up, they come up above you, and then exhale, glide in squat. We'll hold this one, sitting into the hips here, feeling that compression in the hip sockets, soft in the shoulders, pull your tummy button in, nice and flat in the lower back, and breathe. Breathe steadily, feel this sensation of compression in your hips. With a slow breath in, sweep the hands out nice and high, five point star, turn your front or your right foot in, turn your left foot out, warrior two, other direction. Bend it through the front knee as you take the upper body down, you take the arms down, shoulder height, palms down. So your left knee points over your toes, you're pushing is the back edge of that right foot, looking over the middle finger of your left hand, just check in with your right hand to see where you are. Nice, slow, steady breaths. Okay, turn in the front arm up, breath in, lean back, lift up, reverse warrior. Go for height here, breathe into that space you create. Take a big breath in here. On the exhale, side angle, went all the way down, hand on the inside or forearm on the thigh, whatever works for you. And then you bring that top arm forwards, find that point of tension in your body, call it our Goldilocks position. It's not too hot, not too cold, but we know it's doing some good. We can feel the stretch the opening of the body. And when the ribs open, breathe into that space. Okay, we're gonna push heavily down into that left foot as we slowly come all the way back up. Again, take the arms horizontal, straighten the legs, pivot the feet, inhale the hands up nice and high, exhale, glide and squat. Three of these, inhale, lift the hands up, and come to meet above us, exhale, glide and squat. Inhale, lift up. And a glide in squat. Hold here. Maybe a few pulses into your hips just to get that squeeze. And then reach up, straighten the legs, five point start. Turn your left foot in, turn your right foot in line with the mat, float to warrior two where we started. Breath in here on an exhale, lift that back heel, windmill the hands all the way to the floor for low lunge. As the hands come down either side of that right foot, we're going to step that right foot back into three legged dog, push into the mat with the hands, lift that right leg up, three legged dog. Exhale down to dog, inhale through to plank, exhale knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale to the floor. Tuck the toes in, inhale up onto your knees. Exhale back into child pose. Take a breath here. And then inhale up onto your knees. Step in your right foot to the top of the mat. Lift your left knee off of the mat, rotate your left heel down. Going to windmill to warrior two as we did before. So bringing that arm up above you, behind you, as your right arm floats up, look at the middle finger of your right hand. Okay, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Keep that arm moving this time, all the way down. Bring it up behind you for side angle. And then inhale, push into the mat with the front foot, the right foot, 
pivot on heels, five pointed star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale the arms back. And breathe here. Pulling the arms back, pulling the knees back, feeling that compression in the hips. Inhale, hands up, five pointed star. Turn to warrior two, other direction. So left foot in line with the mat, right foot tucks in. Float the hands down, shoulder height, look over the middle finger of the left hand. Take a breath here for reverse warriors. You turn the front arm upwards, lean back, lift up, and a breath out, side angle. Keep that arm moving down, back, over the top. This time, look down at the floor, lift your back heel, continue that arm moving all the way down, low lunge on this side. Step the left foot back, downward dog. Inhale through the plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale to the floor. Inhale up onto your knees, tucking the toes in. Exhale back into child. And then inhale up onto your knees with your toes tucked in. And then lift into downward dog this time. Inhale, the left leg nice and high. Bend the knee at the top. Then take the knee outwards. Okay, hip opener. Push down into your right heel. Push evenly into both hands. Lifting that left knee up. Breath in here. On an exhale, bring that left knee across the body to your right elbow. Using your core. Breath in, lift up, all the way up, opening the hip again as you come up to the top. Breath in here. On the exhale, we're going to bring that knee towards your chest. Come up onto the toes of the right foot. And if you can, step the left foot to the top of the mat. If you need to drop your right knee, step your left foot forward and lift your right knee. That's okay. Low lunge. Rotate your right heel to the floor. Push heavily into your left foot as you windmill up warrior two. So there's going to be a bit of a pattern forming here. Cover the middle finger of your front hand, warrior two. Bending through the front knee, dropping in. Hips are already rotating. Okay, breath in, reverse warrior. Lift up, look up. And then straightening that front leg, both legs straight. Breath in here, exhale, come upright, arms horizontal. Lean forwards over that front straight leg, side bend into triangle, reaching down to the floor with the left hand, reaching up to the ceiling with the right hand. Keeping the body nice and flat, looking to the side or looking up. Just think about shoulders stacked on hips, on ankles, and keeping the breath nice and steady. Options here are to draw that top arm forwards, find a stretch through the side of the body. Don't have to take it, just feel how you feel in your body. Bring that arm up, pull your tummy button in, slowly under control with your core, elevate, arms horizontal, pivot on your heels, inhale the hands up, five-pointed star, turn your feet outwards, bend your knees, push your palms away from you, bring your arms down for horse, so the wrists are flexed, and we're pushing away with our hands, dropping into our hips. And hold and breathe. Okay, breath in, straighten the legs, turn the feet in so they're 45 degrees, palms come together, exhale, glide in squat. Inhale, five point. Exhale, glide in squat. Just moving those hips. Inhale, five point. And then warrior two, back to the right. So turn your right foot in line with the mat, tuck the left foot in. Bend through the right knee as you float down to warrior two. Okay, right pump up, inhale, lift up, reverse warrior, going for height here. Big breath in here. And then straighten that front leg, breath in, exhale, come upright, arms come horizontal, palms face away. And then continue that exhale, leaning forwards over that front straight leg. Bend, side bend into triangle on this side. 
taking the fingers to the floor, taking the fingers to the ceiling, try not to lean in, try to nice and flat through, flow through the body and breathe. And again, the option again here, go deeper with that rib opener, reaching up, breathing into that space you create, but you don't have to do this. Pulling your tummy button in, control through the core here as you push back up, inhale here, and then warrior two, bending through that front knee, breath in and windmill, lifting that back heel to the floor. As the hands come down to the floor, push into the mat with the hands, stepping that right leg all the way back up, three-legged dog, bend to the knee, take the knee out, hip opener here, push down into your left heel, even pressure through both hands. Breath in here on an exhale, come all the way forwards. So right knee to left elbow. Breath in, lift up. It's time. Breath out, down to downward dog. Inhale through to a plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale to the floor. Inhale up onto your knees, exhale into child. Taking a couple of breaths here. And then inhale up onto your knees. Step in your right foot to the top of the mat. Tuck your left toes in, lift your left knee off of the mat. Rotate your left heel down, push heavily into that right foot. Windmill all the way. Up, warrior two, middle finger of your front hand. Okay, drop the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Inhale, lift the chest up, drive the arms back, big, big lift with the chest, pull your tummy button in, exhale, come forwards for humble warrior. Forward bend here, compression in that front right hip, drawing those arms over the top. Push into the mat with that front foot as you slowly come out of that. As you come upright, release the hands, pivot on your heels, lift the hands up, five pointed star, palms come together. Exhale, come down into a goddess squat. Draw the arms out. Slow breath in as you straighten the legs, five pointed star, and then warrior two, do the left. Left foot in line with the mat, bend through the left knee, float the arms down, look over the middle finger of your left hand, finding the posture here. A reverse warrior. And come back to warrior, drop the hands behind you, interlace the fingers. Lift the chest up, draw the shoulders back, breath in, pull the tummy button in. Exhale into humble warrior. Forward bend here, lifting those arms up above you. Feel that compression in your left hip. Okay, from here, slowly come all the way back up, release the hands, inhale the hands up nice and wide, shoulder height, warrior two, breath in, lift the back heel, windmill all the way down, low lunge, step back, downward dog. Inhale through the plank, exhale, knees, chest, chin to the floor. Inhale, lift up into cobra. High cobra as the front of the pelvis comes off the floor, drawing the shoulders back. Take a couple of breaths here, looking straight down. Soften your spine, soften your glutes. Breath out to the floor. 
push up onto your knees and then child pose. Lengthen through the spine here as you take the hips backwards, the sit bones backwards, keeping the hands glued to the floor, feeling that space in your body. Look up between the hands, come up to tabletop, tuck the toes in, send the hips back, lift up, downward dog. Inhale, the left leg up nice and high, three-legged dog. Come up onto the toes of the right foot. As you breathe out, bring that left knee towards your chest. And if you can, step the left foot to the top of the mat. Otherwise, take your time to get the left foot into a lunge at the top of the mat. Rotating the right heel down. We all know what's coming now. So push heavily into that left foot. All the way back up. Warrior two. This time we're going to turn on our heels. Five-pointed star. And then parallel the feet or pigeon toe the feet. Hands onto your hips. Breath in. Chest lift. Shoulders back. Breath out. Forward bend here. Wide leg forward bend. Come to a position where you can feel some tension in the back of your legs, your hamstrings. Stay here. Maybe take the fingertips towards the floor. If you've got a block or a book handy close by, you can't get your fingertips on the floor. If you can get your fingertips on the floor. Take a couple of moments here as you soften through your hips, your legs, taking the head and the chest closer down. Try to find the effect of gravity in this posture. First thing I would do is release your thighs, your kneecaps, soften through the front of the legs. Allow any tensions, any contractions in your body, in your legs, particularly your hips, to release. And enjoy gravity, the gravity pull in a forward bend. And gently lift the chest up. If you can get your fingertips on the floor, gonna turn the shoulders to the right, take the right hand up, and then turn the head to the right, turn the head up, maybe look up, feel this twist through the spine here. Down at the floor, float that right hand to the floor. Fingertips are on floor grounded, turn in the shoulders to the left, float the left arm out to the side and take it up as high as you can. Turn the head and look up, follow that hand if you can. But go to the, your range of movement, wherever that might be for you. down at the floor, float that hand down to the floor. Push into the mat, the edges of your feet, get that grip, bring your hands onto your hips, put your tummy button in as you slowly elevate up. Turn the right foot in line with the mat, put the left foot in slightly, bend through the right knee, arms out nice and flat and long, breath in here on the exhale, windmill, lifting that back heel down to the floor. Step back into downward dog, in, out, into plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. And inhale, cobra. Drawing the shoulders back, looking straight down at the floor. We're going to a couple of breaths here. Softening your spine, softening your glutes. Breath in and then exhale to the floor. Chop onto your knees. And child pose, sit the hips back, lengthen through the spine. Hands are grounded, drawing the sit bones back, feeling that length, that stretch, that openness in your back. Look up between the hands, come up onto your knees, step your right foot to the top of the mat. Tuck in your left toes in, lift your left knee off of the mat, rotate your left heel down. Push heavily into the mat with your right foot as your windmill 
all the way up. Warrior two. Breath in here. As you breathe out, bend the knee, drop in. Breath in reverse, warrior. Breath out, side angle. Breath in, five-pointed star. Breath out, glide in, squat. Breath in, five-pointed star. Warrior two to the other side, pivot on your heels, floating down. Breath in, reverse warrior. Breath out, side angle. Keep the movement going, lifting the back heel, dropping the right hand to the floor, left hand to the floor. Step back, downward dog. Inhale through the plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale to the floor. Inhale up onto your knees. Exhale, char. Taking a few breaths here. Inhale up into tabletop. Step in the left foot to the top of the mat. Tuck the right toes in, lift the right knee off of the floor. We'll do that same sequence again to get all the way around the other side. So rotate your right heel down, push heavily into your left foot. Windmill all the way up and around. Warrior two. Breath in here. On the exhale, drop in. Breath in, reverse warrior. Breath out, side angle. Breath in, five-pointed star, pivot on your heels. Breath out, glide in, squat. Breath in, five-pointed star. Breath out, warrior two. Breath in, reverse warrior. And windmill through side angle to the floor. Lifting that back heel. Step back down with dog. Inhale through the plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale to the floor. Inhale up onto your knees. And exhale, child. Just got one more little sequence with this forwards and backwards. Come up into tabletop, step the right foot to the top of the mat, tuck the left toes in, lift the left knee off of the mat, rotate the left heel down, push heavily into the floor with that right foot, windmill all the way up. Cover the middle finger of your right hand. Reverse warrior. This time when we come down to side angle, take the hands down on the inside of your right foot, taking the hands all the way to the floor. Lift your right toes off of the mat. Lift your left toes off of the mat. Walk the hands as you pivot on your heels all the way around to the other side. Plant the feet on the floor, bend it through the left knee and push your left elbow into your left calf, your left knee as you stretch out your adductors, your groin. So pushing back into that left lower leg with your elbows. And then release that stretch. Lift both fronts of you up so you're on your heels again, walking your hands all the way around to the right. And when you come all the way around to the right, your right elbow into your right thigh, uh, knee, thigh, lower leg, and push back on that stretch. Nice hip opener here. And back all the way to the left. Again, lift up onto your heels, walk all the, ha the hands all the way around, push in. And this time, walk the hands around so that either side of the left foot come into a low lunge here. And we rotate that right heel down, windmill all the way up, warrior two. Take a breath in here. On the exhale, let's get down to the floor. Come back into downward dog. Inhale through the plank.
and then knees, chest, chin. This time take a locust just for a change. Take the hands down the side of the body. Lift the legs, lift the chest, look down at the floor. Engage your lower back muscles. In fact, all of your back muscles looking down, straight down at the floor. And release. Hands either side. Your ribs push up onto your knees. Take your knees out to the edges of the mat for extended child as you sit the hips back onto the heels. Draw the chest down, let the forearms come to the floor, let the forehead come to the floor, and draw back on your sit bones to find that length through your back. Okay, lift the head, look up, thumb up. Okay, from this wide legged position now, might need to take the knees out a little bit wider, okay? So take the knees out a little bit wider so you can then turn the feet outwards. We're gonna come into frog pose. So maybe take the knees out a little bit wider. If you can, turn the feet outwards. They're almost like a frog, I suppose. That's probably why they call it frog pose. Walk hands forwards, drop down onto your forearms, and then gently, provided this is okay for you, gently sit your, put your sit bones backwards as you find that internal rotation of your hip sockets and that compression. Try to find softness and ease where you can. Go to that point of gentle compression, gentle discomfort, and breathe and release here. Just find a position, like we say, the Goldilocks position. You just feel that mild discomfort and stay here. Okay, coming out of that the way you came in. So a little bit of lift up through the body. Point the toes behind you and then bring your knees closer together. So roll down onto our backs now. Just to take the pressure off the knees. And we've come into a lying pigeon. So come down onto your lower back. Squeeze your knees a couple of times just to massage through your lower back. And drop the right foot to the floor. Rest the left ankle on top of your right thigh. And head and shoulders on the floor. Lift your right leg off of the floor. Wrap your hands around, interlace fingers around the back of the right thigh. And draw this pigeon, line pigeon, figure of four pose on. Okay, modifications here. Really, if your left elbow is quite close proximity to your left thigh, your inner thigh, you can push your elbow into your thigh at the same time, pull in your right knee leg in. This gives you a deeper rotation of that left hip, but only going for what works for you. Again, head and shoulders on the floor. Using the breath, now we're into the longer static mat-based postures where you can release the gravity and soften a lot of the muscles in your body. And then the only focus really then is what's stretching, what's the fascia doing, what's the connective tissue doing and using your breath to soften around that tension. Okay, and then release that foot to the floor. Keeping the left leg up in the air, straight the leg, reach up with your hands and draw a hamstring stretch on here. Just momentarily as you push the back of the knee away, pull the toes in, find some tension in the back of the leg. And keeping hold of the leg with your left hand, take your right hand out to the floor. You can straighten and lower the right leg to the floor. Keep your right bum cheek on the floor. See if you can open the hip here with a ductor stretch, taking your left leg out to the side, supporting with your hand, keeping your right bum cheek on the floor, feeling that hip start to open and stay here. Wherever that might be, it might be that your knee is quite tight, in which case keep your knee bent and bring your knee out to the side. That's absolutely fine. I think it's the femur and the acetabulum, the, the hip socket we're working on here. 
your hammers are really tight and they stop you doing this, you can bend your knee and you can take the knee out to the side. Okay. And then bring that leg all the way back, slide it down on the floor, and bring both, bend both knees. And we go again on the other side. So it's lying pigeon on the other side. So with the left knee bent, rest of your right heel, right ankle on top of the thigh. And then slowly drawing that leg, that foot on the floor, reach forwards, wrap your hands around the back of the thigh. And again, thinking about, depending on how deeper you want to go with this, maybe the right elbow into the inner thigh and push the knee away as you pull the tension on. Okay, releasing there. Straighten that leg if you can for a hamstring stretch, just a, a brief one. Pulling the toes into the chin, pulling the, pushing the back of the knee away and drawing that tension on. It does again, doesn't matter if your knee's bent, if your hammers are really tight, just go with wherever you find that tension in your body. And then straightening, lowering your left leg. Take your left arm out to the side. See if you can open the hip on this side. Leg extended or leg flexed, knee flexed, whatever works. But take that hip socket out, keeping your left bum cheek, sit bone grounded. So the movement comes out of the acetabulum socket. And then draw that leg all the way back. And we finish with happy baby. So lift both feet up into the air, bend the knees, set the knees out to the outside of the hips, hands onto your or fingers onto your thumbs, your ankles, your inner arches, and pull down to hip compression. Gently massaging your lower back as you rock from side to side. And release. Lower the feet to the floor, hands down the side of the mat. Bring your ankles, your knees together, and then allow your knees to float out to the side. Join the soles of the feet together. Bring the heels up close into your groin and feel that hip release, making any adjustments you need to. Take the hands above the head, palms come together, and with the thumbs in touch with the floor at all times, reach up. Stretch up, lengthen through the body here. So soft around your lower body, active in your shoulders, your trapezius. As you flex your shoulders here, you stretch it out. And let go. Bring your hands down onto your belly. Bring your knees together. Slide your feet down to the bottom of the mat and let your knees flop out to the side. Feel that release in your hips. Just feel how soft, how loose your feet are now. Your whole legs. And just allow a few belly breaths here. Target your breath down towards your hands. Let your hands rise and fall with the breath. Taking the next few minutes to reconnect with your body, particularly around your hips and soften any tension here, release any hold in any clenching, soften around your pelvic base and release your pelvic floor. And simply focus on any sensations across your body. 
let the body release to gravity and let the breath start to slow. Stay here as long as you wish.